Yeah, y'all. L E Z N B A talk. Like, share, subscribe, peep game. So y'all just seen my video I put out. You get no motherfuckers who hating on LeBron James. And the reason I'm getting on people is because you're talking about one man. LeBron James is not Harriet Tubman. You act like Harriet said she ain't going to come get us off the Underground Railroad because LeBron said he wasn't sure about boycott. But again, he did it. Whether he was sure about it, whether he was reluctant, it doesn't matter. The fact is he actually performed the act. It's just like when people tell you Lyndon Baines Johnson was racist, but then you go, but he signed the Civil Rights Bill, and Kennedy didn't. It's just, it's not no how you felt. It's either you do or you don't. But let's get into this. Why is it that black athletes have to be the spokesperson for black America? You don't see Michael Phelps going to Michigan saying, uh, White folk don't want to wear masks. You don't see Brett Favre. You don't see Jay Cutler. All of these, you don't see Drew Brees. Drew Brees came out and spoke just like a pure white supremacist and then apologized. And you know what? White folks did not throw him under the bus for apologizing. They knew that that was just the price of doing business. But we can't understand that. We got to get all emotional. And then we're irrational in our emotions. Niggas will sit up there and say that LeBron James ain't boycott. Meanwhile, when Kyrie was saying boycott, motherfuckers was still talking about basketball. I remember I stopped talking about basketball during the uh, pandemic and during uh, the uh, marches in the street. I didn't start talking about basketball again till when, y'all? When they started playing again. Now they're boycotting it. If I'm really in favor of a boycott, guess what? I would boycott the NBA. It makes it a lot easier to boycott something when you're not giving it attention. You're giving it eyeballs. You're, following, you're talking about it every day. But then saying that somebody should boycott, that doesn't make any sense. Then back to my major point. And you don't see white folk having sports entertainers and yeah, you don't see motherfucker uh racist ass, what's that mo Vince Vaughn, and he is a racist. You don't see him out speaking for his people speaking for white people. What do you see? When white people decided they didn't want to wear a mask, they got their guns and went up to motherfucking the Capitol Hill and told them we're not gonna wear masks. And you're not going to do anything about it. And they changed the law right then and there. We don't have that kind of power. LeBron James does not possess that kind of power. LeBron James said, I don't want to play. Would do absolutely nothing. Especially without the people behind him. And it's hard to have the people behind them when y'all been shitting on them about inconsequential things like basketball the whole time. Can you imagine? Can you imagine <laughs> somebody calling Muhammad Ali a sellout because he boxed again? Muhammad Ali didn't choose to not fight. They wouldn't let him. He chose not to go to the military. LeBron James has chosen to speak up and he has done his due diligence as far as I'm concerned as an athlete. Now it's my turn. Because he can't speak for me. Let's be honest. The only thing relatively is speaking that happened to LeBron James that's close to what could happen to me is somebody spray painted nigger on his house. That's the... But he got his nannies to clean it up. So, I, to be honest, LeBron has been so separated from our community for so long, for the last few years, I wouldn't feel comfortable with him speaking up. We need members of our community to speak up.
I remember Malcolm X did a thing where he said, yeah, they had a thing of Negro people. It was Harry Belafonte and fucking Bill Russell and Dick Gregory. And he busted out laughing. He said, well, Dick Gregory, he said he a comedian. A lot of y'all are missing the point. He not supposed to be a leader. He's just supposed to be a face. And LeBron is a face. And again, don't criticize him for doing something that he was reluctant about doing at first. You only criticize him for not doing what he told you he was going to do. Oh, like I told you, hope and change. Yeah, I, I hope you got some change. Oh, 